Robert Austin Sullivan was born on July 20, 1947, in Boston, Massachusetts, and executed November 30, 1983, at age 36, for the murder of Donald Edward Schmidt, age 39. Sullivan was born on July 20, 1947, in Boston, Massachusetts. Two weeks after his birth, he was adopted by a couple from Nashua, New Hampshire, and was later raised in Belmont. Massachusetts by his adoptive mother. Sullivan studied business administration at the University of Miami, but dropped out in 1971. He took a job at the Howard Johnson Motor Lodge in Homestead, south of Miami, eventually becoming manager. In August 1972, however, he was charged with stealing from the lodge. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to five years, probation, and ordered to refund $6,000. However, Less than a year later, on the night of April 10, 1973, Robert Sullivan would revisit that Howard Johnson Motor Lodge, a visit that would prove to be fatal for 39-year-old Donald Edward Schmidt Sr. Mr. Schmidt had moved to the Homestead, Florida area after accepting a job as assistant manager of the Howard Johnson Lodge. He had recently purchased a mobile home for his family, which included his wife of 14 years, two sons, and two daughters. Schmidt was reported missing on April 11 by his manager Frank Barton when he failed to show up to a meeting with him. When Mr. Schmidt failed to show, Mr. Barton went to the lodge to find out what was keeping him. When he arrived, the lodge was closed and the lights were out. Upon entering the establishment and discovered Mr. Schmidt, gone, and $2,750, missing, from the safe, Donald Schmidt's body was found several days later, in a field along the Tamiami Trail, by hunters. Metro police stated that Schmidt had been shot in the back of the head. His wallet and credit cards were missing. After investigators became aware that Schmidt's credit cards were being used in the North Dade area, they set up surveillance in the area. This surveillance led to the arrest of Robert Sullivan, age 25, and Reed McLaughlin, age 20, taken into custody during a traffic stop. The victim's watch and credit cards were found on Sullivan at the time of his arrest, as well as a shotgun in the car. Both suspects were charged with first-degree murder. The subsequent investigation revealed they had abducted Donald Schmidt, had his hands tied behind his back with tape, and was then taken by the pair to a remote area in a swamp located in the Everglades. He was forced onto the ground where he was hit with a tire iron. He was then fatally shot four times in the back of the head by a 12 gauge shotgun. Sullivan reportedly confessed to the murder and implicated McLaughlin. McLaughlin confessed as well, but took a plea deal with the state where he would be given a life sentence in exchange for his testimony against Sullivan. Sullivan was sentenced to death on November 12, 1973. When Sullivan was asked why he killed Schmidt after Schmidt was cooperative, he responded. I always wanted to commit a murder. On November 30, 1983, Sullivan was executed in the electric chair at Florida State Prison. At the age of 36, he was the second person to be executed in Florida since 1976, after John Spinkelink. Prior to his execution, he spent 10 years and three months on death row, which at the time was the longest amount of time any inmate had spent on death row in the United States.